In this video, we're going to have a look at how you can access design sets to get started in Rex Builder, and we'll look at the default as well as bringing in design sets from a third party. So very easy then if you're starting out, I'm on a blank page, I can access design sets either by clicking on the templates folder here or on the templates folder here on the right hand side. So we access templates, we have my templates, and then we have the community templates. And in this case, this is the default install from Bricks. So these are the design sets available if you uh, have just installed Bricks on your website. And they're categorized in different ways. We have the template bundles, then we have the template types, and then you can also search. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just look for something uh, for some content. So I'm going to go for a section, and I quite like, uh, let's have a look at this one here and we click on insert template and template is inserted and we can now edit this content as normal so down the right hand side access the icons and text heading subheading as normal nothing different to the way that you would normally work and we'll save that and let's have a look at that on the website so we'll refresh the page and here we have that then on the website and it looks as it should so that's fantastic. But what happens if you want to insert a design set from a third party website, maybe one of your own websites, maybe your company has a central repository that you're creating for design sets. Well, here we have a website called Bricks Design Set and they have a couple of uh, design sets on here and they are free to use. And you're also invited to upload your own design set and become part of the team. Now, this uh, website was started by um, Danny Costa and the idea behind this is to allow anybody to then ups upload their design sets and to build this community um, of design sets that everybody can access. So it's a great initiative and maybe it's something to have a look at and maybe to contribute. And if you'd like to make a donation, why not go ahead and donate? They also have a wall of fame and here you can see the different people that have uploaded and then how many up uploads they've made. So you're definitely going to get um, some recognition for the work that you've done. Right, let's head over then to the uh, library. Um, so the library is all the different design elements. You can either access through here or you can access using this navigation here. So what we want to do maybe is uh, we're going to have a look at a hero section for our web page and you'll see some are static and towards the bottom we have some with animation I quite like this one so this is hero 13 so let's have a look and see how we can add this to the website first thing I need to do is copy the URL so I'm going to copy that website URL then I'm going to head over into settings and then in the settings I'm going to go to templates scroll down to remote templates and you'll see the default inserted there from bricks and I'm now just going to paste in the URL from bricksdesignset.com and save the settings. There's no remote template password, so we don't need to insert that. If there was a password, you would just insert it over there. With that done, then head over to Bricks and I'm going to refresh. And then I'm going to access the templates. Right. So top right hand corner, head over to templates. And now when I hover on the remote template, you'll see that it says bricksdesignset.com because I'm accessing these from a third party website. I'm not sure why the previews aren't showing, but the content is definitely available. So to give you an idea, we looked here at Hero 13 and you can once again access using these options, the way they've been categorized. You'll see uh, I could just select um, heroes here or I can go into uh, the template types and also select maybe section or if I know what I'm looking for I can just type in hero here here is hero 13 and I'm going to insert that template uh, contains a theme style would you like to import it nope I'm going to use the colors on my own theme and there we have the element inserted I'm going to move that to the top and we'll save that and let's have a look at that on the website so refresh and right there we have that design set coming in with the animation very little that i need to do except now go and edit the content maybe change the image so you would access the content in the same way as before 
simply head over to that section, head into the container, and then everything works as it normally does within Bricks. So that's how you would then access from a third party just to maybe have a look at something else. They also mention here on the website that they have uh, some content elements for a blog. So this would then require dynamic content. So let's have a look at how to bring in some dynamic content. Maybe we'll just do uh, something simple. Um, yeah, let's have a look at this block card number two. So I'm going to head over to the design sets, templates again, remote, and I'll just do a search here for blog. And here is here are blog posts, and then there's blog card number two. And I'm going to insert that template. Uh, would, uh, would you like to implore the theme style? No, I'm going to go with my own. And with that inserted now, we have inserted. Ah, we've just put it into the wrong place there. So be careful where your mouse is when you do an import, because I've actually inadvertently imported that into this um, Bricks design set. Um, that was rather silly. Um, I think the easiest way is just going to be to undo that. And then I'm going to right collapse everything. And then I'm going to import that again. So back to templates, remote templates. Let's go blog. Insert the template. Note the um, styles. And right, now we have it imported correctly. But of course, this is bringing through, this was not um, anything dynamic here. So if I wanted to make this dynamic, I can head over to the container here. And you'll see the layout is blog one, two, three. So I could simply head over into that container, use the query loop. I'm going to go for posts. And then I can simply replace these elements here. So let's say post title. And then I can go to the image. And I can replace the image. So that's the one way of doing it. And in this case, there's no dynamic data linked. So that's maybe not ideal. So we want to do something where there is dynamic data linked. So let's go and have a look and see if, if we can then bring in something else. So over to the design sets. And I know for a fact that this one here does import dynamic content. And this is going to be blog post two. So over to remote templates blog and now we're going to look for blog posts too. So here's blog post two and insert template. I'm not going to import any design styles. And there we have the blog post two. Now the reason nothing's showing is because we need to make sure that this is now accessing our blog post. So in the blog posts that we have available, I'm going to go and check that query. And if I check the query, I'll see that the post type they've accessed is example post. And I just want it to be normal posts. So we've changed that to normal posts. And now if I scroll down, I'll see the normal posts coming through. I also notice here that it has a reference to something which I clearly don't have on my website. So I need to go and check the fields. And there you can see that they have accessed post term categories example post. And of course, we don't have that. So I'm going to remove that. And if I want to, I can replace that with um, the categories that I'm going to be using for these posts, so just normal categories. And then that information is dynamically inserted. And of course, I can, in the field section, uh, if I want to move things around, I can, quite as normal. So there I can move the post date up, um, maybe move that down. So you can now pretty much, you know, do as you would normally do um on the website so that's how you can then bring in this dynamic content and then make sure that it just accesses the right posts on your website so we hit save head over to the website refresh and there we would have that animation header we have this content element and then we have the post being pulled through that i can just go in and edit as required so that's how easy it is then to insert the um, design sets from a third party website. So as I said, 
uh, this website is free it has one other new feature and that is this complete templates so if you want to bring in a complete template for a page and we'll just click here on the live preview and you'll see that it's made up of that same uh, hero section that we were using it has these counters um, and these other content elements with some animation so if this is something that you'd like to use to get started uh, head over to the website head over to complete templates and if you scroll down um, and you click on the download then there will be a nice explanation then of how to download and use on the website and also if you would like to why not contribute uh, some of your own designs so a great resource if you're starting out and uh, you're looking for a design set uh, of course this can apply to any website where you can get design sets um, if you know of any more why not add them to the comments maybe we can build up a list of websites that we can go to then get some design sets well i hope you enjoyed that video thank you for watching